But next tonight, the mothers of three London gap year students killed in a bus crash in Thailand have spoken out about the death of their sons. Back in June, the friends had just started a trip of a lifetime when their coach veered into oncoming traffic and was hit by another bus. Three months after the tragedy, their families say their grief has been made worse by what they consider to be appalling treatments by the Thai authorities. Glenn Goodman reports. For the past three months, Polly Cook and Amanda Bean have endured the limitless pain of losing a child. Bruno Melling Firth, Max Boomgarden Cook and Conrad Quashie had just begun what they considered their trip of a lifetime in Thailand when the coach in which they were travelling veered into oncoming traffic, killing them all instantly. Back in South London, their grieving mothers have endured insult after insult from the Thai authorities, making their pain all the greater. After the bus crash, their bodies were returned home with many of their possessions missing. Then the death certificates arrived. There was a section saying mother's name and father's name and on all of them it said unknown. But cool. our names were in the passport so, and it was just really distressing that they had these death certificates making them look as though they had no parents. They were told the Thai police had begun an investigation into the bus crash. But that was months ago and they heard nothing further until one day they received an unwelcome offer. We had a, an email from the Foreign Office saying that the bus company, with the name of which we don't even know, um, were offering £4,000 compensation per boy, um, which we, we just felt to be really insulting to say that somebody's life is, is not that there is a price you can put on somebody's life and I mean this is not actually this is not to do with getting any money at all it, it, it's to do with um, for me personally finding out exactly what happened because we don't know exactly what happened we've heard that drivers especially at night are under the influence of alcohol and pet pills um, presumably work double triple shifts to support their families the mothers have begun a campaign to warn people of the dangers and have achieved an early success with the Foreign Office updating their website to warn people that they're four times more likely to die on Thailand's roads than they are on roads in Britain. There are approximately 12,000 deaths uh, on the roads every year in Thailand. When you compare that, say, to the UK, we have 3,000 deaths uh, with a roughly uh, comparable uh, population. We've lost three fine young people from my area due to the terrible road safety conditions that there clearly are in Thailand. This is hugely concerning. While nothing can ever bring their children back, the aim of all three mothers is to prevent any more mothers suffering in the same way. Glenn Goodman, London Tonight, Brixton. Travellers living at